Picture this. You're standing where the ocean kisses the land, toes buried in cool foam, watching the horizon breathe. You count the waves, one, two, ten, and realize there's never a pause. The sea inhales and exhales, a rhythm older than memory, as if the earth itself is alive beneath your feet. What you're seeing isn't water marching forward like soldiers. It's energy, pure movement, passing through water like a ripple of communication, one molecule nudging the next, crossing oceans wider than nations, older than civilization. It all begins with wind. A soft breeze scratches the surface, roughening it just enough for ripples to form. Those tiny wrinkles, called capillary waves, are barely a few millimeters tall, but they're crucial. They let the air get a grip. The stronger the wind, the more energy it transfers, turning those faint lines into waves with muscle. Given time, space, and persistence, chaos organizes itself into rhythm. A storm in the Pacific can sculpt clean, rolling swells that travel for thousands of miles, carrying the memory of wind long gone. And here's the first twist. The water itself doesn't really go anywhere. Each molecule moves in a loop, up, forward, down, back, while the energy glides on. The wave isn't a traveling hill of water, it's a traveling pulse of power. That's why when the storm that birthed it has vanished, the wave keeps moving. When you watch those waves arrive, you're seeing order emerge from chaos. In deep water, long waves travel faster than short ones, filtering the ocean's surface into smooth, even patterns. The result? Those hypnotic, evenly spaced lines surfers call groundswell. The crests might move fast, but the true energy, what scientists call group velocity, travels a bit slower slower, arriving in pulses. That's why you'll see long lulls, then perfect sets. Nature, as it turns out, surfs in rhythm too. But the sea's surface is not one simple tune. It's an orchestra. Dozens of wave systems born in different storms overlap and interfere. Some amplify, some cancel each other, creating a constantly shifting landscape of crests and troughs. Physicists can model it, but even supercomputers can't predict every detail. The ocean is chaos that behaves just enough to look like music. And that music never stops, because its drummer, the wind, never sleeps. The sun keeps heating the Earth unevenly, creating air pressure differences that make the atmosphere forever restless. The ocean absorbs that restlessness, turning it into waves. It's the ultimate recycling system. Sunlight becomes heat, heat becomes wind, wind becomes motion. That energy then spreads, breaks, and dissolves, only to begin again. But wind is just one musician in the ensemble. The moon, with patient hands, tugs the oceans into slow, powerful tides that circle the globe twice a day. Earth's rotation twists those flows into grand spirals called gyres. The Gulf Stream in the Atlantic, the Kuroshio, near near Japan, vast rivers of moving water that shape weather, climate, and life. Even on the calmest day, when the surface looks like glass, invisible forces below are pulling, twisting, stirring. The ocean, even when it looks still, is always working. Dive deeper, and it becomes almost alien. Layers of warm and cold water form invisible barriers, along which massive internal waves travel, some taller than skyscrapers, silent giants mixing the planet's chemistry. They carry oxygen downward, lift nutrients upward, and ensure life doesn't suffocate in stillness. The visible surf may grab your attention, but the unseen waves keep the planet breathing. Walk along the shoreline, and you can literally watch physics at play. As waves approach shallow water, they slow down and bend. Refraction, the ocean's quiet geometry lesson. It's why cliffs get carved, bays stay calm, and coves hold whispers of stillness between roars. When a wave finally collapses, it's gravity spending stored energy, turning motion into spray, turbulence, and sound. That hiss you hear after a crash? That's the last exhale of a journey that began hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles away. Every once in a while, though, the sea breaks its own rules. Rogue waves, towering walls that appear from nowhere, happen when multiple waves align perfectly, focusing their energy into one colossal crest. For centuries, sailors swore they existed. Science finally caught up. Satellites now confirm waves more than 25 meters high, rising from seemingly calm seas. Proof that the ocean never repeats itself, it only improvises. And that's the secret. The ocean's constancy lies not in calmness, but in motion. Even when it rests, it moves. Even when it sleeps, it dreams in energy. The sun doesn't stop shining, the wind doesn't stop blowing, and gravity doesn't stop pulling. As long as those forces exist, the ocean will keep breathing, reshaping coastlines, erasing footprints, and writing new ones. Stand there long enough and you'll feel it, the rhythm sinking with your own pulse, the steady inhale and exhale of something far older than humanity. The ocean doesn't just move, it teaches. It shows that life isn't about stillness, it's about balance between push and pull, chaos and order, rise and fall. The waves never stop because motion is the language of existence, and that's where the next part begins, because once 
Once you understand how the ocean keeps moving, the real story is what that endless motion means, how it shapes our planet, our history, and even the rhythm inside us. And once you understand how the ocean keeps moving, you start to see that this motion is more than physics. It's architecture, economy, memory, and heartbeat. The shoreline under your feet is not a line. It's a living negotiation. Every wave redraws it, signing the latest draft of an agreement between water and rock. What we call coast is simply the pause between revisions. When waves hit the shore at an angle, they drag sand sideways, a process called longshore drift. Each grain begins a slow migration down the coast, pushed by every breaker that folds onto the beach. That same process builds barrier islands, spits, and deltas, the delicate handwriting of a moving planet. When humans interfere by building walls or jetties, the ocean adjusts without complaint. Sand piles up where it can, disappears where it must. The sea never rebels, it just edits until balance returns. Even the calmest water hides momentum. Rip currents, those narrow, fast-moving lanes running back out to sea, look deceptively peaceful between breaking crests. Their gravity's quiet escape hatch, moving more powerfully than any swimmer. In that way, the ocean mirrors life itself. The gentlest surface often conceals the strongest pull beneath. Every bay, cove, and harbor has its own rhythm. Push water in or out, and it oscillates in time with its shape. That's a seish, the ocean's version of a tuning fork. Some are tiny, invisible to the eye. Others make entire marinas rise and fall for hours after a storm hundreds of miles away. The same resonance governs ripples in a coffee cup on a ferry, or tides trembling through the Mediterranean. The physics is simple, but the scale feels holy, and from these rhythms, human stories unfold. Surfers chase perfect swells across the globe, reading the wind like priests reading scripture. Ship captains study swell charts to find safe passage. Harbor engineers measure every curve to protect a single inlet. Economies lean on waves they can't control, from beach tourism to global trade. Ports are built where the sea agrees to cooperate, and history often begins where waves slow enough for ships to land. Scientists and engineers look at waves and see potential, an energy source older than civilization. Wave power, if harvested efficiently, could generate more electricity than all the world's dams combined. But the ocean demands humility. Machines corrode, storms dismantle them, and creatures claim them as new reefs. The future of wave energy won't come from conquering the sea, but from learning to move with it. Flexible, patient, rhythmic. Beneath the surface, the same movement holds the planet together. Waves and currents mix warm and cold layers, transporting heat from equator to pole. They ventilate the deep ocean, carrying oxygen down and nutrients up, keeping ecosystems alive. The whisper of the surf on your local beach connects through this invisible network. If the ocean ever stopped moving, that entire chain of life would collapse. The Earth would lose its breath. But the rhythm is changing. Climate change is giving the ocean more energy to work with, and it's showing. Winds are stronger, storms more frequent, and swells more violent. The average wave height in parts of the North Atlantic has climbed nearly a foot in just a few decades. What once was once-in-a-century storm surge now happens every few years. The melody remains, but the tempo accelerates and coasts built for yesterday's rhythm are being rewritten in real time. Still, the beauty is undiminished. Watch how a large swell bends around a headland, focusing energy on one side while leaving calm refuge behind. That's refraction made visible. Each crash is a punctuation mark in a story millions of years long. Even the hiss that follows, the fizzing of countless tiny bubbles, is the sound of energy dissolving back into equilibrium, shaping land, shaping time, shaping us. Each line of foam is a sentence written in water, erased by the next, continuing a story that began before life itself and will end only when motion does.